So I talk about my experience with friends growing up kind of a loner and then finding some friends out here in LA and um, that embarrassing story about how I threw up on a computer and the teacher made fun of me. All the details inside guys. Um, and our expert here is Brandon Aki, who's a great friend of mine and brilliant at what he does. So this section is all about, it's all about friendships, you know, how to attract awesome people into your life, receiving awesome people into your life, like, instead of being like, well, you're too great, go away from me, which I've done before, weirdly enough. Um, and then setting up your friendship criteria, like have an idea in mind of what, of what, like you want what you need and what you can't have, what's bad for you. Um, and then we define a healthy friendship, an unhealthy friendship. And uh, even we help you get through fights because that's a hard one. But you can take the high road and whether it's speaking up for yourself when you're upset with a friend or when a friend is upset with you, We've got a system for that. And I can't think of a fight where I have used that system that it's ended badly. It's usually awesome. It usually ends in like hugs, lots of hugs. And then the fam, oh, the fam. Yep. Well, we talk about uh, my first time in Ireland as an 18 year old. Wow. Go harder, go home. And my mom had no boundaries, so it all kind of funneled into something really weird. Um, but you know, it's sort of my relationship with my mom, which was tumultuous. It wasn't always like easy. And um, you know, when is it okay for a mom to be a mom and when should she be a friend? So that's my essay and you can read all about that. Cause honestly, that was probably like the most personal thing I've written about. Um, and then we go into roles and expectations, you know, the mom role, your pops role, sisters and brothers, the G rents, grandparents, your extended family, and you know, how to set boundaries and what is unhealthy and healthy about those relationships. And of course, forget me nots and expert secrets. And then we go into last but not least relationships. I talk about seeking out the missing parts of me and others while missing out on me and others. And this was a hard chapter to write. I went through a lot each time I went to have to rewrite this chapter completely because it kept changing. And uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what you guys think when you read that essay. My own personal experience. And Brandon's back. He's our expert here. Um, and then we talk about the four W's. Where you are, what makes you happy, what you need, and why. Expert secrets along the way. You've got your romantic relationship criteria guide. And then, of course, what I wish I had all along. Attracting someone awesome. And breaking down boys by ages. Oh my gosh. From their traits, their pros, their cons, their stage in life. We go from 16 to 19, 20 to 23, mid to late 20s. And it's just super informative. Um, then we've got, you know, Brandon's relationship tips. You know, how to practice, practice active listening and pay attention to how he responds. And how to have the talk. How to break up if you need to. Can you reconcile or is it done done? Dun dun dun. And then my epilogue, which was the easiest to write. Because I've really got it together. Once and for all. Really.